Carol and Don Carlgren have been hard at work since November setting up their Christmas display. The couple has been collecting for over 25 years, and the reason why they do it is simple. But I love Christmas. I, it's my favorite time of the year, and I just been collecting stuff for 20 some, 27 years, and it's, I rotate stuff, and it's just, I love Christmas. Don looks after attaching all the lights, which he says is the trickiest to maintain. Uh, probably the lights on the house to get them up in every year because they fall down during the summer months, so we have to pin them all back up in the, in the winter. While the majority of the ornaments have been collected on their own, some are given, which hold a special place in Carol's heart. Uh, people give me have given me gifts for Christmas, and it's Christmas-related gifts. And I like displaying them. Like when I see things, I think, okay, I, that person gave me that, and it reminds me of them. And it just fond memories. With the Christmas decorations donning the inside and the outside of the house, it's hard to pick one favorite. Uh, I think our favorite ornament would be our first Christmas together 1990 ball. That's our first married together. The couple have seven dogs who, like all kids at Christmas, get spoiled, each with their own stockings and gifts under the tree. Oh, I think they get just as excited as most children do, yeah. So what is it like on Christmas morning? Chaos. Uh, chaos. <laughs> Happy chaos. They love ripping into their own parcels and it's, it's just a, it's a, it's hilarious. And it has they to be seen. go and go and open. Sometimes there's a fight. We've had a few. Yeah, we've had a few fights, but they yeah, just they, they go. don't stop until all, everything's unwrapped and then they just crash. And for those who are curious, just how many lights do you have? Around 8,000, maybe 10,000, we're in that area anyway. Off, off the towers in the backyard, there's about 4,000. Oh, and then in the front, with all the decorations, I would say there's another four to 6,000 easily. The Carl Grins are already thinking of next year, adding in some homemade touches. Every year we grow. Yeah. yeah. Next year we're gonna be making our own. So we're gonna do, uh, we've got some good plans for next year with what we're gonna do, probably add another 1,000 or more lights with the various decorations we're gonna do next year. Everyone that visits loves the display and looks forward to it every year. Uh, my neighbor, he, they, they, everybody that comes up here, they, they like it. The male lady just loves it. She says it's awesome. The Carl Grin House can be found along Broadwater Road in Robson, just outside of Kalsagar, directly across from Zelsoff Selgar's pulp mill. You can spot the tower at night from the road. For Go in Robson, I'm Jennifer Waldy.